Hey everybody, this is Jen Nelson, Senior Solution Consultant with Capato. And today we are very excited to demo for you our new Winter 20 Own Backup integration. If you're an Own Backup customer and also a Capato customer, you can actually set up an Own Backup integration directly in Capato so that we get regular backups of your environment as you move data along with your metadata in Capato. Two common use cases are either seeding, for example, a UAT CMX from production or moving actual data that is being used as metadata in such applications as Encino or Salesforce CPQ. When you set up your own backup integration in Capato, you have the ability for each environment to define whether you want a backup to occur before deployment of your metadata changes and data after deployment or on either side of the deployment so that you get a before and after comparison of that environment when you make your changes. Once you have your own backup integration configured in Capato, it's very easy at your user stories to add a deployment task. The deployment task can either be a single data type that is only a SQL query, or it can be more complex data that uses our new advanced data deployer data templates. Once you have that deployment task on your user stories and the user story gets promoted and deployed, Capato will take your deployment steps and on the deployment record, we'll do your metadata changes, we'll deploy your data per the deployment step, and based on your environment settings, we'll also invoke automatically an own backup call out before and or after the deployment of the data to the next environment. In own backup, of course, you are going to want to have a service set up for data for each of the environments where you will be receiving data in your deployment process. In own backup, you can see the full backup history. You even have the ability to add custom labels to individual backups to make them easy to find later on. If a backup added new records, here we can see that a backup added 20 accounts and 60 contacts. We can actually see that right here on screen. Of course, with own backup, if you have added records, you click on the record and download a CSV file so that you can review what you've added. However, if you've changed records, in this example here, between these two backups, I actually changed data. So I can see here with a simple S object compare and own backup that I changed 20 accounts. I click on the show accounts and get this really lovely grid that shows me all of the fields that were changed. I've got a 20 here above type. And a simple legend, green is going to be the pre-deployment value in that field, and purple is going to be the post-deployment field. So I can very easily keep track of what changed, answer any questions anyone has, and make the process seamless using both Capato and own backup. Thank you so much.